In this video, we're going to demonstrate how you deregister and return a pair of Apple AirPods back to their factory defaults. Typically, you would deregister and factory reset a pair of Apple AirPods if you intend to lend, sell, or give them away. However, it should be noted that if a pair of Apple AirPods have not been deregistered from your Apple ID, you will still be able to track them using the Find My app. For this example, we will be using the Find My app on an iPhone as this seems to be more reliable than deregistering a pair of AirPods using the Find My app on a computer. After opening Find My, we can either select devices or tap the speech bubble over our location. We should then see a list of devices that includes our AirPods. If we select our AirPods and scroll to the bottom of the panel, we will find an option called Remove this device. When we select this option, we are informed that our AirPods will be removed from our Apple ID and unpaired from our Bluetooth devices. After selecting Remove, we are prompted to confirm that we wish to remove our AirPods. By tapping Remove, we will start the reset process. As our AirPods have to be removed from all devices they are paired with, removing our AirPods will take a considerable amount of time. You will also find that when you are returned to the Find My app, your AirPods will still be listed under Devices. While our AirPods are no longer paired with any devices, in order to deregister them from our Apple ID, we now need to remove them from our Devices list. If we once again select our AirPods and choose Remove this device, we are prompted for our Apple ID password. After entering the password, and choosing OK, our AirPods are removed from our iCloud account. You might find that your AirPods have not been removed from the Find My app. If this is the case, try waiting a couple of minutes to allow Apple's service to refresh, then try for a second time to remove your AirPods. We noticed that in some instances, we had to repeat the remove process multiple times before our AirPods were deleted from the Find My app. So if after trying multiple times to remove your AirPods, you find they are still listed in Find My, try closing the Find My app and after reopening it, repeat the remove process. While our AirPods have now been deregistered from our Apple ID, they have not been factory reset. So if we open the lid to our AirPods, on our iPhone, we are presented with a message saying, not your AirPods. In order to see the correct setup message, we now need to reset our Apple AirPods. If we open the lid of the charging case, and then gently press the AirPods down on their connectors, by flipping over the charging case, we now need to press and hold down the pair button for roughly 30 seconds or until the indicator light changes from flashing white. To flashing amber. And then returning to flashing white. Now if we close the lid of the charging case. And then once again open the lid. If we check our iPhone, we will see the correct setup panel. We can now close the lid to the charging case and either sell, give away or decommission our Apple AirPods.